Hello Pisces. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to the witching hour. My name is Michelle and I'm a witch. Welcome to your January reading. Offered to you a little bit late due to a family crisis that uh, carried through the entire month of December. But we are back. Keep me and my family in your prayers, especially myself. And um, thank you for all your love and support. Please continue to share, like, subscribe, and comment. This reading is for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and however else Pisces places in your chart. I evoke the elements of earth, air, fire, water, and spirit, and greet the directions of the north, east, south, and west. I pray for divine love and light to enter this reading for all enlightened Aquarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, etc. Clear direction for your path ahead. Clear direction for me as I channel this reading. This reading is for the areas of love, romantic and otherwise security, and freedom. And, so let's see, Pisces, Pisces. Here we go. Underlying energy for love is the embodiment of love and emotion, the king of cups. Embodying through the masculine body, the energy of water. That's feminine energy in a masculine body. That's nice stuff. And it's also your sign. It's Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Excuse while I adjust. Past, present, and future energies of love. These are going to probably focus more strongly on the uh, romantic love, but um, not only that. So it's not going to be exclusive because <clears throat> this is a full integrated reading. The underlying energy. For you in the area of security is foundation, embodied in the Three of Wands and the fire energy. That is pertaining to your material world, food, clothing, shelter, and something meaningful for you to do, your life calling. Could be your career or just a hobby, it doesn't matter, but it's your life calling. It doesn't have to be your nine to five. Underlying energy of freedom, personal choice, is the Nine of Cups. So we're talking a lot of personal satisfaction, a lot of personal empowerment that is derived from emotional fulfillment and satisfaction in the ability to exercise your free will choices, your wishes and dreams coming true. That's what you're focusing your steps on now. And you will have to make adjustments. That's what I'm getting. You're going to have to make adjustments and align your life and your choices to your free will regarding your dreams and your heart's true desire. Your true desire, you're gonna have to hone in, I'm feeling it. The past energy of love, security, and freedom. In the area of love, so we have the high priest, the energy of one, the energy of universal morals, universal moral codes and ethics, playing it by the book, always considering for the highest good of all. And yet the underlying energy is really more about your personal fulfillment. So here you are tapping into in the recent past and feeling it in your heart too, but that sense of moral obligation to the world at large is what I'm feeling. And you may have met a male figure who embodies this. Um, Keep in mind, I go by the traditional depiction on the card. If it's male on the card, that's how I, I go by it. Um, and that's the intention I set. Now, taking that into consideration, you might be male and carry a lot of feminine energy. 
You might be female and carry a lot of masculine energy. You will have to use your own intuition and apply it to this general reading as to how the specific details match your circumstances and gender, okay? Um, but keep in mind, if I, I set the intention that the genders match what's on the card, and so that's generally what we go by as far as the underlying energy for the entire read and for everyone out there. But if there are special tweaks you need to make, that's up to you. If you want more specific details, you need to book a personal reading. So I am feeling, though, that this is the embodiment of the collective moral for the highest good of all, that you have uh, you may be the male or that you've recently met a male who embodies these qualities, high ethics. Um, trust needs to be built, I'm feeling. The trust needs to match, like, in other words, whether you're going to trust this person to put their money where their mouth is, to live out their morals, to see them play out. You want to see. You want to see. I can I can feel that. And um, in the area of security, I think you have better vision for food, clothing, and shelter and your life calling. I'm seeing that you've been given some divine clarity and insight about about what it is that you want in your material world to manifest. There is success coming, and you've seen an image of it in your mind. Many of you have gotten a physical picture, an epiphany in your mind about what you want your life to look like and, and how you want it to feel. This is a foundation, and I, I, I get an underlying feeling of a sense of impatience on your part. You want to see it happen now because you've been waiting a long time for it to happen. And what you've also been given is a second ace. Phallic masculine energy depicted in the wand with fire. The spark of creativity, which is divine inspiration. The ace of wands, element of fire, masculine energy, but connected to spirit. So here we have the male depiction of spirit. Here, spiritual inspiration, ethics, highest good of all, collective moral code. Your... I feel, I just see like someone see, seeing themselves as wanting to be a champion for humanity. A champion. So I'm sensing a lot of my son's energy. He's a Pisces. Um, so this has a lot of masculine energy to it. <clears throat> but it could be same gender. Relationship. Okay, here. When embodying the more altruistic, emotional embodiment of desiring the higher good so like i said before the masculine holding the feminine energy of the love the nurturing the motherly um but there's also a stoicism an emotional stoicism involved here and that can lend itself to focusing on the moral ethics more and yet what i'm getting is no focus more on how you feel focus more on the love the love will play itself out you don't have to turn it into some kind of moral code or formulaic expression of love. Just love. Just love. And allow your own emotional and spiritual connection to yourself and the divine in this feeling of personal fulfillment in the Nine of Cups to guide your choices, your free will choices. I'm feeling that that's a definite certainty. You have to individualize your hopes and dreams and desires in your moral code uh, through an emotional expression guided by the insight you've been given and the vision you've been given. But you still have to individualize it. And I'm saying, um, I'm getting that that is absolutely what you must do as far as um, taking those ne next steps ahead, not to intellectualize those goals, not to moralize those goals, but to let your heart lead the way. You're not, I, I sense some of you are afraid of, of letting your emotions get the better of you in making your decisions, but that's not the point that spirit is making. Spirit is saying we've given you the clarity of vision, we've given you an initial foundational success, giving you the right people to work with, giving you people who have resources, who are themselves a resource to you, Giving you all and the divine spark of inspiration for you, for your dreams to come true. So your goals have to be personalized based on how you want to love and be loved and how you want to express your love in the world it has to be personalized. Personalized. 
So in the current, in the area of love, we have another major arcana, the warrior. This is traditionally known as the strength card, sign of Leo. You could be involved with the fire person here, possibly. Fire or water sign. But I'm, I'm seeing heated discussions and debates about what the right steps of action are because water and fire make steam and i'm seeing as opposed to steamy love connection there's that but i see st steamed or heated debates about moral codes and ethics and you having to hold your ground or one of you having to hold your ground about wait we're going to let my individual uh, my individual love is going to lead the way for me <clears throat> You're having to stand your ground and really be true to the essence of yourself in this relationship that I'm seeing. You have to let the underlying energy of the King of Cups lead the way. And what's underneath that is the Ace of Cups spirituality, okay? It is a, a sure sign that that is where your potential and your fire lies, is in your heart. Your personal heart, your personal fulfillment, that's number one and how you want to express your love in the world through your calling. That's got to remain number one and not to be distracted by external ideas and moral codes imposed on you just because the people imposing them are impressive. Absolute channel message from spirit. And so what we have is you taking the time out to rest, you taking a much needed vacation or break or mental break neutralizing your position on things and regrouping within yourself. Regrouping within yourself. You are your own highest authority is what Spirit is saying to me right now. And you must follow your own lead. You must. You must. And that's going to change things. It's going to change your direction. You're going to see it, but it's it might be a little hard to see that this will come. It's going to change the course of your direction. You becoming your own authority. It has to be. And then we have action. The Eight of Wands. Again, phallic fire, masculine energy. But I feel like now the masculine energy has shifted and gone onto your side. Whereas you might have been the one more in the feminine energy, regardless of gender, being kind of mutable and having the masculine energy kind of change uh, and shift your perspective and, and views on on how you want your life to be, what you want to do with yourself. And now it's changed. It's changed because you gave yourself time to rest, regroup, and rely on your own inner strength. And you are championing yourself. You're championing your own cause, channeled message. Championing your own cause, being your own authority. This person has a king. That's what I'm being told to say. The knight has a king. You are all of those figures in one. You're your own king or queen. You are the knight championing your own cause. You are the one allowing your inspired thought to lead the direction of your action and your fire and your inspired choices. You are the one. It's for your personal satisfaction. You, you, you. And you get distracted a lot by what everyone else says is the right thing to do. So we're not doing that anymore. That has changed. That has changed. And when that happens, and you know it needs to, you will stop being diplomatic. You will stop being diplomatic. This is the Seven of Swords Diplomacy. Now, what this card depicts, though, is in you self-sacrificing, you letting someone else's cause take priority over your own. You kind of, um, what's the word? Um, conceding, making concessions for others for the sake of diplomacy, thinking I, can't, I alone can't be right. It can't be my way or the highway. I'll compromise and bring myself down in order to go with the highest good. When that is exactly the opposite of what spirit wants you to be doing right now. You have to be the champion of your own cause, which is doing what you love to do, staying true to yourself, personal fulfillment right now. It doesn't mean you're going to become a self-absorbed asshole. It doesn't. You're going to still be a good person, but it's like you're going to stop sacrificing what you want 
for the greater good when the greater good really are, are represented by people with their own individual agendas. And that's what spirit's trying to get you to see. It's kind of like joining a political party and you think it's a, a big bandwagon when really it's just one person steering the whole ship. And you're getting on it thinking group mentality and, and you trust other people and the greater numbers more than you trust your own heart. And it's critical and crucial that you stop doing that, Spirit is saying. It's critical and crucial that you maintain the rudder of your own ship. You steer the direction of your heart and your love. You are a much better captain than they are. You are a much better captain than they are. That's what they're saying. And if you do, there it is. Proof positive. You get the golden ticket. You get the gold coin. You get the abundance for you. And then you share it as you determine with the other people. And, and watch. Watch when this happens. When you start to gain your own solid ground, those other people are going to go, Oh, hey, aren't you going to share with us? And you're going to go, no, because I'm not on your bandwagon. And I never was. So it's like you might feel pressured to give into external group mentality pressure when you have to be more individualized. This is where you're going to see shit happen for real, for good. When you start doing it for you and start realizing that your cause has more integrity than the other causes to believe in yourself, believe in your own honor, believe in your own integrity, then you're going to magnetically attract people who support you and your integrity. Then you're going to be the leader of that bandwagon and it's all going to have group integrity. Group integrity. Believe in yourself, Pisces. That's what I'm feeling so strongly for you. Believe in yourself. Believe in, in your own cause and make your cause you. You are your own cause. You have the integrity and the morals and you have the direction. Don't believe that you don't have enough resources. If you have faith in yourself, the universe will match your faith dollar for dollar, so to speak. Just like a 401k plan or something like that. You invest in yourself, the universe will invest in you. You invest in having faith in yourself and your dreams and your own integrity. The universe will match that and bolster and grow exponentially and attract people who are more aligned with who you are. Then you'll see how your family and, oh, we have our differences, but we're all geared towards this one cause that we know is true and has integrity. I'm not jumping on anyone's bandwagon. I'm creating a bandwagon of my own. And you're not becoming like, there's no imbalance of power. There, It will be unilateral, not unilateral, but more lateral as opposed to unilateral. It will be more lateral. It will feel more like a family because you're going to feel more fortified when you see people validate you. You're going to see that that fairly balances out the power and you'll still maintain your own individuality and your own individual love and goals and fulfillment. And yet you'll be sharing it with people who are so much like you that it feels like a family of individuals all at once. And it's like everybody's happy with that kind of turnout and with that kind of dispensation of free will that harmonizes and comes together in a collaborative effort. So that's a true bandwagon with a lot more integrity than the other ones that tend to recruit others. You will not even need to recruit. People will just be drawn to you. I'm telling you, it's what I'm feeling. People are just going to be drawn to you and you're going to be so relieved because you're going to be able to sense and identify that they're just like you. They're your kindred spirits and your soulmates. It will be easier to trust them because they'll be validating your trust in yourself. And therefore, everybody's going to want to trust each other because it's like, I know you're like me and I know you have the same integrity. So therefore, the trust is kind of built in. But give it time to play itself out. Give it time and be patient. That's where that patience needs to come in is to be patient with yourself. And be patient with drawing in those people. You do have a lot of time for this. And I know you feel like you want it to hurry up and happen tomorrow. But I'm telling you, be patient with yourself. 
do yourself the favor of enjoying it all, right? Enjoy it as it happens. Enjoy the process. Enjoy giving yourself the gift of self-validation. Enjoy uh, giving yourself the gift of watching others validate you, unfolding in your life on an everyday basis. Doesn't have to be this hard and fast deadline that has to happen overnight. You know, it's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle, so pace yourself. Here's the card from Witch's Wisdom. Healer. The energy of the witch. So here we are again with the feminine energy, but being played out in the masculine uh, form of the cone of power, the witch's hat. And messages, the, the raven is standing out to me. You've got to reconnect with your magical self, with your feminine witchy energy and incorporate it through your masculine power and apply it to yourself as a gift. And underlying, we have the Watchtower of the North, the uh, season of winter, the winter solstice, the darkest day of the, the, the longest night, the darkest and the shortest day. And I always, this is my Winterfell card. This card reminds me of Winterfell. So if you're a Game of Thrones fan, this is the energy you're holding. Regroup. Coming back into yourself. Letting the light illuminate your inner self and what you truly want. Don't answer the door for nobody. No solicitors, please. Thank you. I am building my cone of power. I am becoming my own witch or wizard in this tower. Tower of power. <laughs> and... Creating my own Winterfell, creating my own world, creating my own power, creating my own power and validating myself instead of uh, letting my energy get sapped on someone else's agenda. I'm going to create my own and mine's got authority, integrity. I am good enough. If I'm patient enough with myself and I don't put the pressure on myself to have overnight success. I will see that I will be successful. Give yourself time, Pisces. Please give yourself time and enjoy it. Enjoy. Get into your creative juices while you're waiting. Keep yourself busy and occupied with uh, things you love to do. All about you, self-fulfillment. And you're going to see it grow exponentially. Turn out in numbers over time. But you'll start to see it. The faster you now make that conscious choice to advocate yourself and validate your own power, the sooner you'll see one result come in. It'll match you dollar for dollar. You'll see that one. That'll encourage you. Do it one more time. Validate yourself. Act only on your own will and what you want. The universe will give you another sign and another reward, a tangible reward, emotional reward, a visual reward creative reward you'll see i hope you liked your reading more empowerment to you pisces best of luck for the future i hope you have a wonderful 2019 if you would like a personal reading or to make a donation to this channel please see the links in the drop down box below and check out my video libraries for all of your other signs and placements sun moon rising venus etc until we meet again, from my soul to yours, Pisces, much, 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 much love Mwah! and brightest blessings. Take care. Bye-bye.